I'm guessing spotfin croaker or if I'm really lucky, a white sea bass. Oh my God. How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Benji Kim Fishing. I got a really exciting episode for you guys today, catching uh, one of the most exciting fish and one of the best fish that I've ever caught from the surf, a 32 inch white sea bass. But before we do that, I wanna share with you the rules and show you the prizes for the Lucky Craft giveaway that's gonna be happening and the drawing is gonna be next Sunday. And so before we jump into that, I wanted to show you the prizes for the Lucky Craft giveaway and explain the rules. It's gonna be really simple, but let me show you the, let me show you the goods first. First one I'm gonna be giving away is the metallic sardine. That's a staple in any Lucky Craft owner's arsenal. And then this is another favorite of mine. Uh, it's going to be the Aurora mackerel. And then I'm going to be giving away two of these guys, the Electric Runyon. And uh, right now these are my personal favorite. And this is actually uh, the, the pattern that I use to catch uh, the white sea bass in this video. And so I've had a lot of luck with these guys recently. And so we're going to be throwing in two of the Electric Runyons. Last but not least, and I hope you guys get excited about this one. These are uh, kind of hard to find right now. And so we're going to be giving away a very hard to find Super Glow Sardine. This is from my personal stash. And I got to thank Lucky Craft for your generosity. And again, uh, none of this would be possible without you, Lucky Craft. And uh, the California Surf Anglers, a group that I'm lucky enough to be a part of and just help out with. And so I'm um, really excited about that partnership and super, super pumped, man. So the main part of this giveaway is I'm going to be giving away five Lucky Crafts. So we're going to give away five of these guys. Once again, uh, the Metallic Sardine, the Aurora Mackerel, uh, two Electric Runyons, and um, the Super Go Sardine. And so also, in addition to that, I'm going to be throwing in a pack of replacement hooks. Um, again, this is from my personal stash. I'm uh, going to throw that in there, as well as a pack of split rings. And lastly, I'm going to be throwing in this bad boy, a brand new Lucky Craft hat. So again, five Lucky Crafts, um, split rings, replacement hooks, and a hat. So super excited about this giveaway. Here are the rules. It's super, super simple, all right? I wanna make it easy for you. The first rule is, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe and bell notification. If you wanna be entered into the drawing, you have to be a subscriber um, on my channel, Benji Kim Fishing. So hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That's the first one. If you're already a subscriber, you're good to go. The second rule is this, even easier. Go ahead and hit the like on this video, hit that like button. And number three, under the comments, leave a comment with your favorite Lucky Craft color. That's it, there's just three rules for it. Subscribe or already be a subscriber, hit the like button and leave a comment with your favorite Lucky Craft color. Those are the three rules. I'm gonna go ahead and most likely I'm gonna go live next Sunday um, along with introducing my new video. I'm gonna go live and do a live drawing um, to pick the winner. So again, this is just a no brainer um, for a small channel like mine. I just wanna spread the positivity, share the so stoke, um, pass it forward. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. Um, so thanks so much for tuning in and watching this video. Um, in this video, I'm able to catch a 32 inch legal white sea bass from the surf. Um, and I'm still stoked about this. Super excited to share with you guys on the Lucky Craft 110 Electric Runyon. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy it. Tie lines. Hey, good morning everybody. So we're at the sand, uh, got here right at gray light when it was still dark. Uh, spending the past 30 minutes just getting set up and stuff. It's cold outside, got my waders on. Uh, I'm gonna do a session here targeting uh, some halibut and hopefully some bass too. Um, tide's real high, it's, about a, it's at about a six and hasn't even peaked yet but it's gonna drop real fast too, it's a full moon. So we're gonna go ahead and see how it goes. Uh, gonna be throwing uh, the, luck, uh, the Lucky Craft. We're gonna start off with the Cherry Berry and also gonna be throwing a half ounce jig head from War Baits uh, with some swim baits on it. So hopefully it'll be a good little bite. Um, we'll go ahead and see how it goes. So stay tuned, thanks so much for tuning in guys. All right guys, we're on the water. Um, not really know, don't really know what to expect this morning. But um, we're just gonna go ahead and start off by throwing the cherry berry. And so we're just gonna cover some water as much as possible. And hope we can get into a good bite here. So 
So we're gonna try to jerk this thing as much as possible. You know, the way I work the Lucky Craft is really dependent upon uh, the conditions of the water. So sometimes we'll just do a straight retrieve. And what's been really working out pretty well for me is uh, just jerking this thing. Uh, sometimes faster, sometimes slower. So I'm throwing uh, this Lucky Craft on uh, my new Daiwa Tatula SV-103 and a brand new M1, seven foot eight, medium heavy. And while I've only used it a couple times so far, I, I love this thing. Come on, baby. I know you're here. guys I don't know what it is but he's got some size to him that's for sure oh look at him go oh this is what we're looking for oh look at him go Good size fish, guys. I have no idea what it is. Just gonna try try him, tire him out. Oh, it's a good size fish, guys. Just gonna try to keep tension on the line. It looks like he's coming in close, guys. I just want to get eyes on him, see what he is. I saw him break surface when he hit the lure. Let's go, come on. Oh, he just wants to run. Look at him go. Oh, baby. Is it a ray? It might be a ray, guys. I mean, the way this guy's going. Oh my gosh. He's not ready. Oh my gosh, almost down to my braid. I think that runs over. I made a nice run, but that runs over. I don't think it's a halibut, guys. I feel like it's not fighting like a halibut. There goes another run. Oh, he was in close. He was in close and he went right back out, freaked out. Let's see if I can land this guy. Oh boy. I think my biggest threat right now is uh, the line getting into the rocks and clipping. So I'm gonna try to keep the rod higher, to keep the keep it out of the rocks. See if I can get this guy in, guys. Whenever you hook a good sized fish, you just want to see what it is. And if you lose them, it still hurts, but at least you know what you lost. Making up some ground now. 
The last time I got him in real close and he just took off. Oh, he's in real close right now. It's not a ray, guys. It's something huge. It's definitely a fish, man. So now, now I'm going to be so sad if I lose this guy because I'm guessing spotfin croaker or if I'm really lucky, a white sea bass. Oh my God. White sea bass, guys. All right, guys. Last time I got a 27 inch white sea bass. I never thought I'd see one again, but here we are. You guys, look at this guy. I'm gonna wash him off. This one's a keeper for sure. Yeah. All right, let's get a picture hey, of this guy. A, that's a valuable fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost their old season. All right, guys, yeah. got this on the uh, Lucky Craft Flashman 0110. Um, on the electric runyon and was jerking this guy along slow playing it and yeah, I thought it was a ray um, He kept making huge runs in and out um, Almost got to my braid a couple times, but I uh, just stayed patient with it and was able to get him in stoked <laughs>